Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you how you can create a mullion profile from a CAD file so that you can use it in your curtain wall in your Revit project. This video was requested by someone on Facebook so if you ever have any other questions or ideas that you would like me to make a video about feel free to contact me on any social media and I will see if I can make a video about it. I have all my links in the description box. But now Let's look into the mullion profiles. Okay, so the first thing we need is a new family. So we go to new family and then we select the profile, mullion profile template. Open. And in this template we can draw our mullion profile with uh, lines. And here we have the interior side and the exterior side and here's the ref reference plane where the um, glazing is going to sit. But first we're going to insert our CAD file. So we go to insert, import CAD and here's our mullion DVG but this could also be a DXF or any other uh, CAD file. We click on open and here we have our profile. So you see we need to uh, move it a little bit so it will fit on this reference plane. So we need to untag it and then we can press MV or click on move here and move it to this reference plane. And now all you have to do is draw lines on the um, lines of the profile but the one restriction is that your lines have to form a closed loop and they can be only one loop in the profile so that means that for example you won't be able to make the profile hollow like this one and also I would recommend you to make it a little bit more abstract than this um, CAD file but knowing all this now, you can simply uh, click this Pick Lines button and then pick the lines from the profile. And then in the end you can delete the, the CAD file and you're left with your profile. I have uh, already prepared a profile for you. So this is the profile that I came up with. You can see it's a lot more abstract than the, the one in the CAD file but it will make it easier for Revit to construct it. Also I would like to know what kind of offset this uh, profile has and how thick the glazing can be. So I will um, create some dimensions. And and this will help me later on. Okay, now let's import it into the project. I called it uh, Mullion YouTube. So, but first, of course, we need a curtain wall to place it on. So let's just draw a quick curtain wall and then put some grid lines on it. Okay, and now we can place some mullion on it. But first we need to assign our new mullion profile um, to the mullion type. So we create a new type by duplicating. Oops. And then here on the construction you can see the profile parameter. And there we can find our new Mullion YouTube. So we select that and hit OK. And now we can place it on those grid lines. Let's look at it on the ground. And we can see that the offset is not yet right. Also, the glazing might not be of the right thickness. So we also change the glazing. Um, with no offset and to 
28 millimeters of thickness. If you remember, that was the dimension in our emollient profile. Okay. And now let's see what kind of offset our profile needs. So the 14 is what we're going to put here in the offset parameter. And when we hit apply, we can see that it is well placed now on the facade. Let's have another look at it in the 3D view. So there you go. This is our newly created Mullion profile. So that was it. I hope this was helpful for you. And um, if you like this video, you might want to check out my other videos um, or leave a like so I know what videos you find interesting. And see you all next Monday with another video. Bye bye.